Irene Intelligator. Um, I got my first job, my part-time job in fact, um, and was part-time temporary job in a law firm. And they really liked me and they started training me to be a paralegal and um, this, this man, I, I don't remember where I met him, but he asked me, why do you want to be a paralegal? I said, well, I love law. I really find it very logical and predictable in most cases. And he said, but you're very young. I was 19 at a time. And he said, you could be a lawyer. And I said, oh, yeah. And it's like the light bulb went on. And, and I went to UCLA. I went to law school. And that was that. I love family law. I've been practicing family law now since 1986. I find that I, it may not be a unique approach to practice a family law, but I find that I offer clients what a lot of attorneys do not. Because a lot of people in my profession try to sort of take that bull in a china shop approach. And of course we make more fees, we make more money when we go to court. That is understood. Anybody anybody knows that but if you at least try to save your humanity because a lot of times people have children and whether they go nuclear on each other or settle it nicely they will still remain the parents of those children and eventually hopefully become grandparents to to their children and if they go nuclear it is very hard to restore even a semblance of you know, of that co-parenting ability. And therefore, I always explain to my clients that while I will make a lot more money if you fight and if you really refuse to compromise on who gets what color pillow, it, it's true. And that's why I find family law just sort of a unique um, little uh, area of overall law that I think that I provide really a good perspective to, to, to a client, to a potential client or to, to an existing client. Myself is a person comes in to me, they are tied up in knots, they are, a lot of them are crying, a, a lot of them are bitter, and while I do not purport to take that away, at least I can say, okay, now let me take a little bit of that burden from you. Let me try to untangle at least maybe a good chunk of it so that we can focus on something that really is important to you as opposed to dividing the pillows or your teapots or you know things of that nature and most of the times i do succeed uh there are times where a client is hell-bent on they would pay me ten thousand to save one thousand in in property division and you wonder why a person is doing that but you know a lot of a lot of times I'm able to really talk some sense into them. But if not, then, you know, it's, it's something everybody decides for themselves. Well, a most, the most typical client wants a divorce. We we'll call it dissolution or divorce. Uh, some clients just want to have a legal separation, which is basically the same thing, only you cannot get married if you get a decree, decree of legal separation. A lot of times we provide services that are called post-judgment, which is some circumstances change substantially and people need to either modify their support issues or child custody issues and that is, we, we do that. We also of course do prenuptial agreements and post-nuptial agreements such as when people are less aware of post-nuptial agreements of course because once you're married, you think, okay, I am done. I mean, I cannot do anything. But people are free to make a contract, an agreement in writing, saying, okay, we're married, and we understand we're married. But just in the event, it's basically exact same thing as prenuptial agreement, but it's done post-nuptial, post after you get married. Not necessarily in contemplation of divorce either, just because they they decided that that there's a part missing in their relationship. Yes, and thank you for asking that. I find it a very important question 
I provide consultation. Um, most people will get any length consultation on the phone with me. I do not provide in-office free consultations because people, that's all I'd be doing eight hours a day. But um, I think in some cases, after people speak on the phone to me, they know their course is clear, and some want to come in with a list of questions, which I encourage. Um, and then they will pay for one hour, but they will get so much more. Thank you. Thank you.